Hello guys, welcome back to this new video and here's why the Land Rover Discovery Sport isn't worth 70 lakh rupees. <laughs> The Land Rover Discovery initially came out as a replacement for the Freelander, but it grew into a bigger and a better car. Although it may not be worth for its price, there are still reasons to buy if you're the right customer. Here's 5. Reason number 1. It has the best in-class four-wheel drive system. The sophisticated electronics sends grip to the tyre that needs most traction and the gizmos in terms of off-roading are impeccable. It has a ground clearance of 167mm which is ample. Off-road modes of gravel, sand, mud and snow are more than enough and if you can't use them, use the auto mode. Reason number 2. Interior quality. We all know that the GLR group makes exceptional interiors and this car is no exception. Everything you touch is soft touch and plush. Lower down the cabin there are cheaper plastics but overall it's brilliant and it can be forgiven because places where you touch on a daily basis are fantastically built. Most buttons are well put together, some are cheap, some of the shortcut buttons of the infotainment system are cheap but it can be forgiven, yes. Reason number 3, a minimalistic cabin with decent options. The layout of the Land Rover Discovery Sport indeed reflects its aura and character. The interior portrays simplicity at its best with optimal functionality. The options available are functional instead of being quirky and gimmicky. Everything has a purpose and that's always appreciated by a car user. Reason number 4, 7 seater. The plus two seats will be an advantage in this segment. This is the only car that has a seven seater, although it's strictly for kids. Shorter adults can sit on short journeys. Generally, kid or small adult, it's claustrophobic and it is better to put people you hate back there. Reason number five, performance. The engine and gearbox combination in this car is nearly perfect. I'm currently driving 177 horsepower, 430 newton meters torque, four cylinder Ingenium diesel turbo. And it's a BS4 engine. However, the BS6 will have the same output of 177 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. There is no low end lag, although you feel a bit of heft up to 50 km per hour. However, once you pass that mark, the car can get into triple digits in no time. Its power is down via this 9-speed dual clutch that's responsive and picks the right gear almost every time. The second option is a brilliant Ingenium petrol turbo that produces 245 horsepower, 365 Nm of torque, also a 4-cylinder petrol which is also mated to a similar setup. Moving forward, I'd stay away from diesel since petrol power along with electric is where India's future lies. There is a very subjective thing about this car. Looks. Looks are always subjective. But when it comes to this car, I can say it's definitely subjective. Because from some angles, it does look like a Range Rover Sport. But the back looks awkward with the grayish white lights. Mm, that looks off the market. So you either hate it or love it. Are you planning to buy the BS6 Land Rover Discovery Sport? Here are three new things that will be improved. The first thing is the general look of the car as a facelift suggests. The headlights are fresh and the old car's round look is now lost. It's very sleek with the new LED lights and this car looks like it's lost weight. The rear lights are now smoked and it suits the car more than the outgoing model's tail lamp. The second thing is the better controls and bigger infotainment system which has better features. It's still not the best in the business however it now has all the goodies that was missing in the previous car like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Moreover the AC controls have now been doubled up as the offered controls 
and it's very simple to use and they've taken out all the cheap buttons from the previous car. The third thing is the HD rear view mirror. They've introduced a frameless mirror which is nothing new, however, if you want it to be cooler you can use the HD rear view camera mirror which is crisp and a genuine usable feature. So you just have a camera at the back that will act as the rear view mirror. So it's pretty cool and pretty useful and it's very slick. As the title suggests why the Land Rover isn't worth 70 lakh rupees, here's 10 reasons why. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to the direct competitors. It's the Audi Q5, the understated elegance, BMW X3, the driver's car, Range Rover Evoque, better looking cousin, Mercedes-Benz GLC, sexy and desirable, and the XC60, the next big thing. So the first reason why is the competitors are more attractive both in terms of price and features. This is the most expensive and not the best equipped. Reason number two, competitors have better road presence. This car doesn't have the oomph that the other cars have when they are on the roads and it doesn't have a wow factor inside either. Reason number three, competitors have a better brand image. This car doesn't stand up to the likes of the Mercedes, BMW and Audi, especially in the Indian market where desirability is key. Reason number 4. Poor maintenance. Although a 3 year warranty is given as standard, but there's no longevity and Land Rovers are not known for being built like a tank, when the car starts having issues, you will be having headaches eventually. Reason number five, it's a niche when it comes to its customer base. Not many people want to buy it for what it gives. If you're this rich, you'd rather go get yourself a Range Rover Sport. Reason number six, too pricey. It's pricier compared to its competitors and due to the lack of desirability, it won't be mentioned in the customer's shopping list. Reason number seven, poor infotainment system compared to its competitors. We know the command by Mercedes is now the best in the market, overtaking the BMW's iDrive. The Audi's MMI system is respectable and the XC60 definitely has a unique infotainment. Reason number eight, ride comfort is terrible. It's wavy and every undulation is evident into the cabin and ride is possibly the main reason why this car won't be bought. The monocoque chases has given up the comfort and stability. Reason number nine, it's bad comfort for passengers, including co-passenger. The wavy and gliding effect doesn't match the car since it would have been a perfect road trip car. With this suspension and ride quality, it definitely won't be the family's favorite on road trips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and till next time, ta-da!